this is going to make solar affordable for everyone. This is a very standard prototype solar furnace made of a Fresnel lens from an old recycled big screen television. I place it in an aluminum frame and at near the focus here we have a heat collector and a heat exchanger we can run water through to generate high pressure steam. We can generate approximately 1.2 kilowatts of heat energy from this lens which is about 60 inches in diameter using nothing but sunlight. This is a basic illustration of one of the solar thermal generators I've come up with. The idea is to take the heat of the sun and use it to generate electrical power as well as hot water for a sustainable home. Here we have standard solar heating panels that create hot water that runs anywhere from 160 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit depending on how hot it gets. The hot water carries a great deal of energy to the focus of a Fresnel furnace. This lens captures about a kilowatt or more of electrical of, of sunlight power and flashes this hot water into steam at high pressure. That high pressure steam operates an electrical generator. We recover the hot water, which goes to a hot water storage system like a cistern or any regular hot water tank, and you get electrical power out of it. We're getting about 60% electrical conversion efficiency, and the hot water is a free bonus. So you can put a number of hot water collecting panels on your roof, and the heat of the sun can be used not to create just hot water, but also electrical power as well with high efficiency. How much power will this system produce? We're targeting about six kilowatts of electrical power in about 10 square meters of roof space. And how many bedroom homes can you run with that? Well, most homes draw about 30 kilowatt hours of power a day. Five hours of this operation would run a standard home. However, with six kilowatts in one of the earth ships, which are far more conservative, you'd have more electrical power than you'll ever need. And what about recharging an electric car? Is six kilowatts enough to do like a three bedroom home and recharge an electric car? If you're in a very conservative home, yes, you can easily recharge a car. Nothing prevents you from putting more of these panels on the roof and collecting more energy. We can use this for heating by running the hot water through the floor if you have a radiant heating system. We can use it for lighting by using fiber optics to pipe the light inside your house so you don't have to cut roll, uh, holes in the roof to get the lighting inside. And affordability. We're looking at a payoff of three to five years, about six to $8,000 for a system like this. And, and what would that cost with conventional solar? Well, six kilowatts with, with photovoltaics. Oh, six kilowatts of photovoltaics would be in the tens of thousands very easily right now. Probably 60,000. Easily, because you see most of the solar photovoltaic systems run from five to seven dollars a watt, plus you have to have con uh, an inverter system to convert it to usable power and charge your batteries, a lot of other things.